Hey guys, Ms. Katonic here. Welcome back to my mega campaign of Kievan Roots. Um, when we left off, we had been poking around in Persia, and I realized that this is a very weak point in our uh, in our strategy to uh, block off Arabia from the Romans. So, since my king is 50, and since everyone essentially loves him, um, well, that's an easier way to do this. Yeah, the the person who hates him the most is our Varangian Guard uh, regiment. So, uh, I really don't see a reason not to break a truce with the the Caliph. And uh, oh, raised army levies where? What is this? Raiders. Okay. Well, where do we have raised armies? Were we planning something? Ten thousand over here. Okay. Well, you guys can go home. Um, yeah, I, I don't see a reason not to break the truce. Uh, it's it's going to be a negative five penalty, I believe, with everyone uh, for five years, I think, is how it works. Um, and obviously the Muslims are going to hate me. Um, it cost me 5,000 prestige. 5,000 prestige. Now, that's the only reason I wouldn't do this right now. I mean, really, prestige is meaningless um, to, a, to a point. I think it's 2,000 is the, the most you need to uh, get the relations bonus from it. So it's not the end of the world. It, it, just, it feels wasteful um, to a large extent, although all it really impacts is score at the end of the game. And... Uh, uh, oh god, okay, let's do it, let's do it, okay, alright, let's do it, let's go for it, let's, let's go for it, um, we'll move these guys in, uh, right away, we'll just move there, and then, where's my other retinue, it's way over here, um, yeah, we'll just bring you down here as well, let's see what happens, um, so yeah, the, uh, the new expansion pack has been announced, the, uh, Sons of Abraham. Uh, this guy's... Am I converting somewhere? He's definitely not a heretic. My patriarch is converting in... Uh, Zauzeri. That's uh, Hungary. Must be over here. There it is. Yeah, alright. So he's working on that. Um, I think that's okay. Uh, I am certainly waiting for this to go through. Is Rome at war with Germany? Oh, it's a uh, it's a host host war. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, but if once I get that claim, I'm definitely going to go to war with Germany. Should be a very interesting war. Uh, definitely one that we can win, but it will be much easier than these little skirmishes down in Persia. That's for sure, or much harder, I should say. Uh, but yeah, the uh, Sons of Abraham has been announced, and I'm actually looking forward to it quite a bit. I really hope... Um, it hasn't been explicitly stated, which makes me think it won't be in, um, as far as I know. Uh, one second. Sorry about that phone call. Um, but it hasn't been explicitly stated yet that, uh, the theocracies will be playable. Uh, from what I understand, all that's been said is that the Pope will not be. Um, of course, the Pope is elected from the theocracies, so my instinct tells me that it, it's not possible. Um, but I really hope that they will be, because I think that'd be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing as a theocracy. Um... Probably a Jewish theocracy and, and make my way into uh, Jerusalem would be my first game with the, that expansion. Um, yeah, but if anyone knows if they... I mean, last I checked, they haven't announced playable theocracies. But it, it, if, if they were ever going to release them, it would be in this expansion, I would believe.
and uh, it is nice that they're flushing out the Catholics because um, you were revoking things to Baristan from the Count of Manzandrin. All right, that's fine. Um, he's sieging me somewhere. Oh, he's sieging. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't like playing Catholic rulers because of, you know, the lack of flavor. Um, Orthodoxy is a lot more fun. Just, uh... What is this? No! No! Come on, Dukes. What are you doing? Um, but yeah, just, just for, like, little th touches, um... The patriarch system, I really, really enjoy. Um, I mean, it doesn't really have that huge of an impact, aside from excommunications, but I just like looking at this map menu and seeing, oh yeah, this is where all my, uh, you know, this is their their domain, the patriarchal domains. So, it's just, it's it's fun. I don't know. Uh, Catholicism, ah, Catholicism just doesn't really have that that kind of impact in any way. Um, so hopefully that will change. Um, uh, I mean, it doesn't really look particularly fun, um, the cardinal system. I mean, it just looks like a republic election kind of thing, which, you know, it's not really that entertaining. Um, but it, it, it's something. Alright, so joining some wars. Oh yeah, I broke a truce for this. <laughs> oh man. Probably not the best idea, but I really wanted to seal this off from Byzantium. Uh, genius elusive shadow daughter. Wow, 27 intrigue. Um, would prefer to matrilineally marry you. Are you the heir to Jerusalem? No. Are you the heir to Serbia? No. Prince of Turkestan. You're an heir to the kingdom of Turkestan. All right, one of these people has to be an heir to something. I guess I take that back. Um, all right, so he's not closely related, so it wouldn't be the worst decision I've ever made. Um, although that would give him a very strong intrigue person uh, to use against me. He is likely to revolt being a king. Um, it's alright. We'll keep it in the family a little bit. Uh, yes. To the oublier. Oubliette. One of those. I think. Oublier. <laughs> um, alright. So you can siege down Medina. Holy land is burning. Oh, what? My daughter? Oh, it was a regular marriage, so that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I apologize. Um... Okay. Come on, Medina. Is, the, is Medina a bishop? Yeah, it is. It's a mosque. Interesting. Kaibar. Yanbu. Or a big. Man, this is a very influential uh, duchy for the Muslims. Mecca and Medina in one uh, one title. Um, all right, this apparently is just not going to be taken care of. So um, I suppose we can try. try to do something. I don't want him to uh, burn down any holdings or anything like that. I think they can do that. Okay. And what else? 
Uh, we'll take care of that, and then I guess we'll just come down... What the hell? Is he being attacked by someone else? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Must be a, revol a revolt, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, so you can take care of that, and I guess just come over here. And you inherited uh, Berjond. It's okay. And more people joining in. Um. Oh, that's actually a hundred percent. Except, except I need to. Uh, I need to break this. I hope I can siege that. I'm not sure if I can or not. If I can't, I might just declare a holy war on that person to uh, allow me to do that. Um. Yeah, because I can't. If if someone else has has it siege, they won't give me control of it. Um. Okay. Yeah, you can attack there. We'll just meet up over here too. And uh Yeah, let's move move on down there. You can actually go over there. And uh new Grand Prince of Bukhara. And okay. Let's find a find an intrigue person for you. My daughter sounds good. And I guess that means Yeah, you'll you'll do. All right. To Mecca. Oh man, this is god damn it. Oh. <laughs> man. All right, well we got to take care of that too. All right, so uh the Duke of Crimea and he holds a few counties as well. Almost all of them actually. It's a very powerful uh patrician. Okay, can we siege the top county, please. And Baluchistan revolted. It looks like we did. Yep. We did. Alright, so you can actually just come down here now. Oh, come on. Um, yeah, you can... Baluchistan is way over there. So, yeah, you're not going to be, be doing much good. Um, that should be enough. Alright, I just need to siege this top... top holding here. Um... Well, I definitely don't want him to get gluttonous. Alright, he did get brave, which is good. Okay, so he's trying to siege Mecca back, which he potentially could before he can do anything. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Alright, let me take a look now. Looks like everything is, uh, sieged by me. Alright, let's enforce demands here. There we go. Holy land of, uh, Islam is ours now. And, uh, that will further weaken their moral authority as well. Because I believe both Medina and Mecca are holy sites for uh, Islam in the game. Um, let's create some vassals here. Cities. We gotta <laughs> put an Orthodox priest into the Bishop of Mecca. It's, uh, I'm sure some Muslim is rolling over in their grave right now. Uh, city of Yambu. City of Rabig. Um, Tama, all right.
And we need to find some vassals. Um, Marshal of Lindbeck. He's very old, but I uh, will give him Mecca. And this guy will get Medina. Um, I believe the uh, the main time for the culture event to fire is 40 years. Um, if you have a stewardship of 12. Which, which isn't too long. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Uh, head Jazz will give to this guy. Uh, this guy's a baron and old. This guy's an heir to a city, somehow. Interesting. Cities should be elected. Uh, this guy, though. Steward. And a marshal? Way too old. Although he does have 12. Uh, you know, he's, he's just gonna die. There's no way that's gonna, that's gonna work. Alright, we'll just give this guy a seer. And... I'm thinking that person is probably at war now. No, we can. He didn't even have it created, so we'll create that. Grand Principality of Medina, and we'll give it to this guy. No, not Iceland, Medina. All right, there we go. Orthodoxy has the uh, Duchy of Medina now. So that has. Um, Lessened our, our avenues of expansion. Uh, I wouldn't mind coming down into Africa, into Abyss Abyssinia. Uh, Egypt, though, I think I will leave for the Romans. However, however, um, this isn't part of Egypt, so I, I, I wouldn't mind taking that from uh, from these guys. All right, we don't have a Casas Belle anyway. I guess the uh, this doesn't really count as a water tile um, in terms of holy wars. I know there's a land bridge over here, but we don't have a. Uh, these guys are just a heresy of Orthodox, so we don't have a holy war for them. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it at the conquest of Mecca. Uh, I will get back to you. I have to uh, deal with my whining animals. So uh, this has been Miskatonic and thanks for watching.